Hi there, um, if you're watching this video, chances are you're curious as to why your diet currently isn't working and I'm here to kind of dispel some of the um, myths about diets, um, some of the common pitfalls and explain a little bit about an approach that might be new to you that has been getting a lot of success for a lot of the people I work with. Um, but first off, who am I? Because I don't want you to just take my word for it. Um, and a lot of the reason why there's a lot of misconceptions about nutrition is because people don't research their sources. You know, there's a lot of conflicting information out there. And if you do a little more research and figure out, number one, who is this person? And number two, what are they selling? You can get a little more um, gauge on, on what they're actually, what, what's behind what they're telling you. So I'm, I'm going to start off with, I'm, I'm Amanda Gonzalez Barone. I am the owner and creator of Girl Fight Fitness, and I'm certified in sports nutrition through ISSA. I've been fitness training for over 10 years, and I'm a runner, triathlete, and Ironman finisher. So right off the bat, you know, I, I have experience with um, health and nutrition and fitness. I am um, selling a, a nutrition approach that I think works a lot uh, for a lot of people that is a little different than what you're used to. Um, but at the same time, it's grounded in science and um, it, it incorpor incorporates lifestyle differences and things like that. A lot of things that normal diets don't take into consideration. Um, but most of all, I struggled with emotional eating. And as you can see from my before and after pictures there, and from a time when I really wasn't um, on track with my nutrition to a time when I was implementing the approach that we're gonna talk about a little bit about today, um, I, there's a huge difference because nutrition is key to weight loss. I mean, you can get strong by working out at the gym, but if you're looking to tighten up your stomach, to losing body fat, nutrition has to be on point. And the problem that I struggled with was I needed perfection, and I tried every diet. I tried paleo, zone, Atkins, low carb, high carb, intermittent fasting, cleanses. I tried absolutely everything you can think of, and nothing worked. And they all didn't work for the same reason because they were too restrictive. They set me up for that need for perfection where I have to be on the plan all the time. And when I did deviate, I had such high feelings of failure that I would spiral out of control where one cheat meal would turn into a cheat day or a cheat weekend or a cheat week and then I'd totally go off the rails. So what I found was happening was I was yo-yo dieting terribly where I would lose some weight because I'm doing really well with whatever diet I was doing and then I'd gain it back because I'd go off the rails and I'd start cheating and in reality I was not making any real progress. I was losing and then gaining and sometimes gaining more than what I initially lost. It was really frustrating because I was spinning my wheels trying to make some progress but essentially I was undoing all of my work at the gym and I don't think there's anything more frustrating than feeling like you're killing yourself, uh, feeling like you're killing yourself at the gym and then getting no results to show for it. So you get to the point where you're like, why am I even trying? But in reality, it might be a few things you're doing nutritionally that are just undoing all your work. So I want you to take a second and picture this. I want you to picture a, a circumstance where you can have all your favorite foods every single week. And you'll look forward to your treats, clearly, but you are also gonna look forward to your healthy meals because this approach is self-correcting, meaning you know, you're going to be aching for those treats to kind of break the monotony of your healthy eating. But at the same time, once you have those treats, you're physically going to feel gross and bloated to the point where you can't wait to have your salad the next day or your chicken breast or whatever healthy meal that you decide to eat. You're never going to be hungry on this plan and you're also never going to feel deprived. And that deprivation is what triggers a lot of the cheating and a lot of the reason why people f struggle with their nutrition. On this plan, you're going to take control of your emotional relationship with food. Because in my experience, most people don't get overweight because they're hungry and they overeat. It's not hunger that drives that. It's usually an emotional trigger, whether it's stress or depression or needing to feel comforted through favorite foods like mac and cheese and mashed potatoes and things like that. So this is going to set you up to make results not just on the short term, but long term because this is a proven strategy with repeatable, predictable results, and everyone that I work with on this program sees those results and asks me, why didn't I start this sooner? This is, just makes total sense, and it's so easy to maintain. So let's talk about why your current diet isn't working, because that's going to show you why you know, this plan could work for you. Um, so most diets assume everyone's lives are similar. So that means that it creates a, a plan, a strategy, and expects you to cram your life into it. But what if you work the night shift? What if you can't, you know, your breakfast isn't first thing in the morning? What if you, your dinner is at midday instead? 
Um, this is the type of thing that can derail some people because their lives are not the same as everyone else's. Another thing that makes um, diets not work is forcing extreme changes that you can only su su uh, sustain temporarily. So if you think about eating salads every single day, you might be able to get away with that for one week, two weeks, maybe even a month. But after a while, you're going to start craving other things. And it's very unrealistic to assume that you are never going to have chips again. You're never going to have cookies again. That's just not going to happen long term. So we need to make sure that you're able to work those things in regularly, but sparingly or, you know, with, with some purpose behind it. Another pitfall for diets is emphasizing rigidity rather than flexibility. So, like I said before, not being able to work in those foods, not being able to celebrate on a holiday because you're so worried about your diet that you can't have some barbecue, you can't have some pie or cake or whatever. Um, you need to be able to work those things in and find how you can use them to your benefit but still make progress. And then the key one of why diets don't work is a lot of them create dependency rather than building education. So this is, goes back to thinking about what is the person trying to sell you. And if they're trying to sell you um, a meal plan with meals included, if they're trying to sell you shakes or powders or anything that is going to create a dependency, that should raise a, a red flag right there because they're not really trying to teach you how to eat. What they're trying to teach you is to become reliant on their products so they can keep selling it to you. Um, so be, be wary of that, becoming reliant on meals, shakes, and supplements. Try to learn how to eat properly because you're going to be able to do that whether or not you can buy that product or not. So at this point, are you ready to learn more about the program? Um, if so, you can download your free plan preview below for the 8020 plan. Just scroll down below this video and click the link to, to download your free copy. And it's going to orient you to some of the reasons why this diet is different from all the other plans that we just talked about. And a lot of the key points of why diets fail, it goes and corrects them. So go ahead, download your free plan. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out and let me know. And thanks for tuning in. Take care. Bye-bye.